assalamu alaikum i am dr sayed ali mardan azmi welcome to my channel in this lecture we will learn some basic terminologies about polar coordinates and polar integral and then we will learn how we can transform a cartesian integral into a polar integral a polar coordinate system is a system which is used to locate a point in two dimensional plane a point in a polar coordinate is represented by r and theta where r is the distance of the point from the origin and theta is the angle measured in counter clockwise direction with positive x axis so here in this diagram if p is a point this point then its distance from origin will be the value of r and if we calculate the angle of this point with x axis in counter clockwise direction then it will give you the value of theta next we have the transformation equations x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta in order to convert cartesian coordinate into polar coordinate and for the reverse process we have r square is equal to x square plus y square and theta is equal to inverse of y over x next this is the general form of a polar integral in which we have double integral over the region r f of r of theta da please note that in cartesian system we can choose da as dx dy or dy dx but in polar integrals we have da is equal to r dr d theta so in order to calculate this polar integral we have replaced da with r dr d theta this is a function and these are the limits of r and these are the limits of theta in general form please note that since r is our inner variable so limits of r may be constant may be variable but limits of theta are always in the form of constant number and here we will calculate limits of theta in the form of counter clockwise angle with positive x axis in radian measure now in order to calculate limits of r what is the criteria we will pass an arrow starting from origin and crossing the region the point or boundary through which this arrows enter in our region will give you the lower limit and the point or arrow through which this arrow exit will give you the upper limit similarly in order to calculate limits of theta you can see our region starts at this point in counter clockwise direction and ends at this point in counter clockwise direction so we will calculate the starting angle and ending angle of this region like this so if the starting angle in counter clockwise direction is alpha and the ending angle is beta then the limits of theta are alpha to beta so after knowing these things we must know what is an equation of circle in general form this is the general form of equation of circle with center at ab and radius r if we take ab equal to 0 means if we shift the center at origin then equation 1 reduces as x square plus y square is equal to r square this is a special circle whose center is at origin and radius is r next if we solve this equation number 2 for x we have equation number 3 and equation number 4 and if we solve this equation number 2 for y then we have equation number 5 and 6 now we will learn that which part of the circle is represented by equation number 3, 4, 5 and 6. So x is equal to minus square root of r square minus y square is a circle in the left half plane with center at origin and radius r. x is equal to square root of r square minus y square whole square root is a circle with center at origin and radius r. y is equal to square root of r square minus x square is a circle in the upper half plane with center at origin and radius r y is equal to minus square root of r square minus x square is a circle in the lower half plane with center at origin and radius r now after knowing these basic things we can convert or we can solve this problem what is this problem change the cartesian integral into an equivalent polar integral this is question number 16, exercise 15.4 from Thomas Calculus Trials Edition book. In order to convert this Cartesian integral into an equivalent polar integral, we must draw the, our region of integration. In order to draw a region of integration, we need some boundaries, and these boundaries are obtained from the limiting values of the variable. Here, the limits of y are square root of 2, 2, 2. Limits of x are y2 square root of 4 minus y square. Now, y is equal to square root of 2 and y is equal to represents 
horizontal lines. X equal to Y is a line which passes through the ordered pair where the value of X and Y is same. X is equal to square root of 4 minus Y square is equation of a semicircle in the right half plane with center at origin and radius 2. So this is a diagram. In this diagram, this is our x-axis, this is y-axis. Since x-axis and y-axis are not involved in my boundary, so I have made them dotted. Next, this is the equation of horizontal line, y is equal to square root of 2. This is equation of horizontal line, y is equal to 2. This is the equation x equal to y. This is the line for equation x equal to y. And this purple color is a semicircle in the right half plane with the equation x is equal to square root of 4 minus y square. Now from this diagram, you can easily see that this portion is the only bounded close region with all the four boundaries. So this is our required region of integration. Next, we highlight it. And after highlighting our region of integration, we will calculate limits of r and theta for this one. For limits of r, we have passed an arrow through this region starting from origin. This arrow enters through our region from the boundary, which is given here as purple color, which is equation, which is represented by equation of circle with center at origin and radius 2. So, the distance of each point of this purple boundary from the origin is equal to radius of the circle, which is equal to 2. So the lower limit of R is 2. But if we calculate the upper limit of R, you can see that our arrow exits through this red boundary. And this is a straight line whose distance from origin changes at each point. So our upper limit will be a variable limit. In order to calculate our upper limit, So in order to calculate upper limit, we will convert this equation y is equal to 2 into polar form. So for the upper limit of r, we have y is equal to 2, substituting the value of y in polar form, r sin theta equal to 2. Then calculating the value of r, r is equal to over sin theta, we have r is equal to cosecant theta. So the lower limit of R is 2 and the upper limit of R is 2 cosecant theta. Next, we will calculate limit of theta for this region. And please note that our region starts from the boundary, which is represented by this green line. The equation of this green line is x equal to y. We will use it in our formula theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. So the lower limit of theta is theta is equal to tan inverse of x over x, substituting the value of y, we get tan inverse of 1. So the tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4. Next for upper limit, please note that our region ends at this point, which is along y-axis. At y-axis, we have equation of y-axis as x equal to 0, using this value. In above equation, theta is equal to tan inverse of y over x. We have theta is equal to tan inverse of y over 0. So we get tan inverse of infinity, which is equal to pi by 2. Next, we will transform this integral into polar form. We will replace dx dy with r dr d theta. Now, the limits of r we have already calculated r 2 to 2 cosecant theta, and limits of theta are pi by 4 to pi by 2. Now, the integration of r is r squared by 2 for the given limits. Applying limits with the help of fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, making the simplifications and separating the integral on each term, we have two limit from pi by 4 to pi by 2 cosecant square theta minus 2 limit from pi by 4 to pi by 2 d theta. In the next step, we will integrate it. Now, please note that the integral of cosecant theta is minus cot theta. So we have 2 into minus cot theta limit from pi by 4 to pi by 2 and integration of d theta is theta for the given limits. In the next step, applying the limits, upper limit minus lower limit. Now, the value of cot pi by 2 is 0 and the value of cot pi by 4 is 1. Pi by 2 minus pi by 4 is pi by 4. 
So making a simplification, we will get our answer as 2 minus 5 by 2. I hope you have understood this question. Please like, subscribe and share this content with your fellows. Allah Hafiz.